today's country music odyssey uh, pick is uh, the late great uh, John Denver and a CD called The Ultimate Collection. Let's have a look, see what's on it, featuring any song, uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane, Take Me Home, Country Roads and Rocky Mountain High. Let's go turn over the CD. And yet, yeah, there they all are, all his classic songs. Any song, Take Me Home, Country Roads. Um, in Glastonbury, I was in uh, walking around uh, the Market Cross a couple of years back and I saw this fella, Simon Sims, it turns out to be, and he was singing uh, his version of uh, Take Me Home, Country Road. And then in the Frost Fair, uh, one of the floats in the Frost Fair, uh, almost in the same spot where Simon, Sim S Simon Sims was uh, singing, uh, the float had a, a dance version of uh, Take Me Home Country Roads. So it seems to be uh, a fairly uh, popular song among uh, buskers around Glastonbury. Uh, back home again, thank God I'm a country boy. Like a sad song, Sweet Surrender, they're really, really nice and sweet songs. Uh, My Sweet Lady, Calypso, Fly Away, This Old Guitar. They're really kind of, they're kind of deep. And they're sweet at the same time and uh, they have a um, little bit more uh, meaning to them and uh, they're they're kind of really good uh, solid listens uh, this whole guitar as I said yeah that's one of my favorites I'm sorry cowboy and the lady not very familiar with that one mr. Bojangles I'm on two minds about that song I don't know whether to like it or hate it uh, I kind of put it in a, yeah, that's, that's a meh song. Uh, Neil Diamond does a version of that as well, and it's just, yeah, I don't like, that's the only dot on this album is Mr. Mister Bojangles. I don't like that song. Uh, perhaps uh, Love uh, with Placico Domingo, uh, Follow Me, and uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane. You know most of these songs. Um, even if you've never sat down uh, and listened to John Denver, uh, for some reason these songs will uh, be familiar to you and um, you know, uh, bring them into a bit of focus and sit down and actually listen to them, whether it's on streaming, whether it's on um, physical media, be it a CD or an LP. We seem to be doing lots of these on CDs as well. And the uh, charity shops are a great treasure uh, chest of stuff. They won't be stuffed there in there every day, but if you keep going, uh, you'll hit the jackpot and uh, you'll have a find and uh, you'll find all the stuff you're looking for. Let's look at the CD, see if it's um, anything worth writing home about. No, just fairly standard. Uh, kind of uh, on on a uh, how they say, not really worth looking at if uh, you know what I mean. But then when you go to play it, um, you'll have a good uh, songs uh, to choose from to listen to, and uh, just have a nice easy uh, listen. I highly highly recommend this album, uh, John Denver. Um, kind of very different to Hank Williams, very different to Johnny Cash, but um. That's uh, country music. Uh, you think it's one thing, but uh, when you dive into it and uh, see all the different uh, traits and different kind of uh, styles within that genre, uh, you will be pleasantly surprised. So Stevie G will highly, highly recommend John Denver, The Ultimate Collection. And I know there is, uh, he has a few, uh, he's another one of these artists that have uh, many var variations of uh, uh, greatest hits exactly like Elvis, exactly like Hank Williams and Johnny Cash and uh, yeah just uh, if you see them in the charity shop uh, pick them up and you will be pleasantly surprised if you've not given yourself a chance to listen to John Denver please do so thank you for all the views and the counts and uh, we will see you in the next video